Number three, an automobile with 0.260 meter radius tires travels 80,000 kilometers before wearing them out. How many revolutions do the tires make, neglecting any backing up and any change in radius due to wear? All right, so here's the tire, and it has a radius of 0.260 meters. Um, I chose this point at the top, all right? So what I want to show you here is pretend like this tire um, is rotating, all right? Now, as the car, right, that this tire is attached to, as it moves to the right, the tire is going to rotate clockwise, correct? So what's going to happen is this dot, right, You'll it would move right around the tire like so, right? So let's say halfway through, you know, its revolution, let's just say the, you know, tire would be here and that point would be maybe at the bottom here, right? As it rotates on down and then it's still going to travel forward and then that's going to rotate on up. So it'll then come back to the start, right? At the top. Now this whole timeline here would be considered one revolution. Okay, so this would be one revolution. Now, how far can I measure, based off of the circular tire, how far could I measure the distance traveled in one revolution? Think about how the dot moves around the circle. Doesn't it move around the circumference of the circle? It does, right? So basically one revolution, right, in terms of distance would be equal to one circumference of the circle, okay? So now, if we think about circumference formula for a circle, right, the circumference of a circle is two pi r or pi d. Now, since I'm given the radius, I'm just gonna use two pi r, okay? So let's just find the uh, total uh, distance or the, well, let's find the circumference and remember that one revolution would be equal to one full circumference in terms of distance, okay? So it'd be two pi, times the radius, which was 0 0.260. So therefore the circumference now would be, let's take out the calculator, two pi times 0 0.26, 1.63, right? 1.63, and that's in terms of meters. And I'm gonna say per revolution, right? That should make sense. Okay, now, it the car now travels 80,000 kilometers, all right, but, I'm already noticing, right, they, they gave me a value in meter, I just calculated my answer in meter, and this is in kilometers, so already I'm realizing, you know, I gotta convert something, either convert this to kilometers or convert this to meters, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna convert this value to meters. Fairly straightforward here, all right, 80,000 kilometers, right, remember that there's a thousand uh, meters in a kilometer, so therefore kilometers on the bottom, meters on the top, and it's a thousand meters per kilometer, so the kilometers cancel, and therefore you're left with meters. So this becomes 80 now million meters, okay? All right, so that's cool. So this is the total distance that it will travel, okay? Uh, 80 million meters. All right, so now it uh, is asking how many revolutions do the tires make in its lifetime? Well, if every one revolution, it travels 1.63 meters, and over the whole lifetime of the vehicle, it's gonna travel 80 million meters, what do you think the math is gonna look like in order to find that out? It's basically, right, a division, okay? So watch what we're gonna do. Let's start with this in terms of dimensional analysis. Let's take 80 million, okay? and multiply that by now the reciprocal of this. What would the reciprocal mean? Uh, uh, how would the reciprocal be represented? Well, remember it's 1.63 meters per revolution and per one revolution, right? So therefore it would be this, one revolution per 1.63 meters, okay? And I just noticed I left out the unit here in meter, all right? But notice what happens to the meters. They go bye-bye. Take care. Bye, meter. So meters is gone, and what are you left with? Revolutions. And look, it's a division, essentially, right? It's this numerator value divided by that denominator value. So it makes intuitive sense, and the math also works. All right? So it's going to come out in revolutions. So let's see, 80 million 
divided by 1.63. A lot of revolutions, right? So here we have 4, oop, 4.9. Uh, we'll do 4.91 times 10 raised to the, let's count, 3, 7, right? Times 10 to the 7 revolutions, all right? And that would be your final answer. So there you go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, and I look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.